Hey Bobcat Nation, have you ever wanted to see all the different ways you can get involved at Quinnipiac and still keep up with classes? Well stick around with me today and I'm going to show you how. What's going on? My name's Josh and I'm a senior here at Quinnipiac in the 4 plus 1 biomedical science program and I'm from Sandwich, Massachusetts. Today we've got a pretty crazy schedule going on. We're going to go to three different classes, physics lecture, biochem lab, and then grad immunology lab. And then between all that, we're also going to go check out the Involvement Fair. The Involvement Fair is an annual event that Quinnipiac holds where all 150 plus student organizations have a table and they can kind of get out in front of all the first years as well as all the other students and just kind of get their message out there, try to encourage new people to join. Back when I was a first year after the Involvement Fair, one of the first organizations I joined was SPB or the Student Programming Board. We put on tons of different events here on campus, specifically we program events um, from 10 to midnight on Fridays and Saturdays, as well as events all throughout the week, and then our big spring and fall concerts, Fall Fest and Wake the Giant. And now I'm in my senior year, and I'm actually the president of SPB. It's been an amazing opportunity, and I'm really excited to see what this year holds. So now that we know what the day is gonna kinda look like, I'm gonna head on out, and we'll head down to main campus. I just made it down to Hilltop Lot uh, from York Hill. About time to head out to class, so I'm gonna go walk over to CIS for physics lecture. All right, so I just made it to CAS 1, but to head into physics class. Um, so that's due a week from today. We're back in the student center. I have a little bit more time before my next class, so I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. Down here in the cafe, they have tons of different food options all throughout the day. Um, Jordan, what are we getting for lunch today? Um, I'm probably going to go to the harvest section that has really good vegan and vegetarian options because I'm a vegetarian and it's a really great addition to the school. Awesome, yeah. So, as you can see, they really try their best to make sure that there's options for everyone down here. I'm probably going to head over to the Pollo Station. It's one of my go-tos. They have really good chicken wraps, so we're going to grab one of those. All right, so since it's still syllabus week, so kind of figuring out um, what supplies I need for what classes. So right now I'm running to the bookstore to grab a lab notebook for my biochem lab that I have at two o'clock today. Uh, sometimes we tend to get bogged down on the fine details when you're out, you know, taking a course, like, you know, you have exams, facts to study, you know, quizzes to take, right? We forget why we do certain things, right? But these are the, the important skills that you'll be learning. Just got a biochem lab. Um, it's really cool, you know, kind of first lab. So we got an introduction to different biochemical uh, equations, a good look into what we're going to be doing for the rest of the semester. So I'm right outside the student center here, about to head over to the recreation center to go to the involvement fair. Um, typically, the involvement fair is held out on the quad, um, but as you can see, the weather is not cooperating um, today, so unfortunately I had to move inside to the recreation center. Um, so I'm gonna head over now. The involvement fair is really a great opportunity for anyone at Quinnipiac who's interested in getting involved. Um, all 150 plus student organizations at Quinnipiac have a table in there as well as a bunch of different departments and other opportunities that students can use to get involved here on campus. And I'm at the QU Spirit table and I'm here with Steve. He's going to tell us a little bit about QU Spirit and his experience in it. Yeah, so QU Spirit is the only student-ran uh, spirit group on this campus. We're always updating everybody up on our events, and we're always looking to build a bigger crowd for all our sporting events. What's up, orientation? Here by the student programming board table with Taylor. Um, she is one of the executive board members on the student programming board with me. This year I am the main stage director, so I am in charge of the two big concerts here on campus, so Fall Fest and Wake the Giant. So we plan it from start to finish, and I'm very excited. But also, we're here at the involvement fair table, and we have already gotten a bunch of signups, and we're hoping that a bunch of new kids come and join our club because it's so much fun to plan all of the events on campus. chatting with some of the women of Chi Upsilon Sigma. What's going on? Hello. Come find out more about some Greek organizations on campus. Yes. Woo. Before I 
left, I wanted to stop by the Q30 table. I'm over here with Brendan and Christina. How's the involvement fair going? The involvement fair is going great. We met so many great people. Definitely, yeah. It's been so much fun. Awesome, love to hear it. Aside from the reasons that people talk about getting involved, about how it makes you a more well-rounded person, you know, it's all a part of the college experience. I think for me, um, one of the biggest reasons that I'm glad I got involved is that it's really a break from the academics for me. It's definitely a nice way to kind of escape the world of science every once in a while. I'm about to leave the athletic center. I have class at 6.30. I'm about to go into my uh, grad immunology lab. Um, so one really cool thing about being in the four plus one BMS program is that there's actually a few classes where rather than taking the undergraduate version, you actually take the graduate version and it double dips for both credits. So I will get credit for the undergraduate version and the graduate version just by taking the graduate version. Um, it's what allows us to do the accelerated version of the program, um, which is really cool. You know, kind of jump right in and get into the higher level type of coursework. And at some points in the semester, we're gonna be using bacterial cultures and things like that that you also don't want to have in your mouth, right? Long hair must be tied back. So I just got out of my immunology lab. Um, it was super cool. We got to actually use our own blood samples and smear them on some slides and pr prepare them for next week where we're gonna do a white blood cell count. Um, so this is really cool. You know, it's really those classes that you have to look forward to where, you know, the intro to bio, intro to chem, all those prepare you for it. And then now you're kind of able to apply that knowledge and really do some real world applications. So now that I'm done with class for the day, I'm actually gonna go head out. I know my college experience wouldn't feel as fulfilled as it has so far if I wasn't involved. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me today in my day in the life. Be sure to check out the other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos to get a look at Quinnipiac for yourself. Go Bobcats!